in recent years, in order to maintain U.S. technological hegemony and restrain China's rise, the United States has imposed an unprecedented blockade on China in the semiconductor field. For example, it prohibits China's leading technology companies from obtaining chips, and China's Huawei and SMIC have suffered greatly. But the purpose of the United States is not limited to this. The U.S. government is trying to completely destroy China's technology industry through a comprehensive blockade. But what the United States did not expect is that the blockade does not hinder China's development, but instead stimulates China's fighting spirit for independent research and development. Today, let's take a look at five technologies that China has made breakthroughs under U.S. sanctions in recent years. Hi! Welcome to TechTeller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. The first is the scramjet engine, its full name is supersonic combustion ramjet engine. Do you know what this is? Well, this kind of engine is different from ordinary engines because it is an important part of aerospace aircraft. According to experts, on the same basis, the thrust of this kind of engine can be more than four times that of a rocket, and it also allows the plane to reach speeds of Mach 25. This can provide the most powerful support for the power system of some hypersonic weapons. For this technology, China broke the world record and surpassed the second place several times, before that, the X-51 scramjet engine in the United States lasted 210 seconds, while China was 600 seconds. The second one I want to introduce to you is the Beidou Navigation Satellite System. I believe everyone knows this technology, and its importance is self-evident. It is not an exaggeration to say that it is the most important weapon of the country, because navigation has now been integrated into our lives, whether it is daily travel or transportation. What's more, a country wants to achieve all weather, large-scale, fast, continuous, and high-precision operations, which are inseparable from navigation. And China has suffered a lot in this regard, and here I have to mention the famous Galaxy incident in 1993. At that time, the United States requested for no reason to inspect China's regular cargo ships. After China refused, the United States closed their GBS navigation and let Chinese ships drift at sea for 22 days. In the end, China had no choice but to compromise. This is a very shameful thing for a big country. This is why China has been researching navigation. Now China's BIDA satellites have completed a global network and can provide people with all-weather high-precision positioning. Make it impossible for the United States to steal China's geographic information. More importantly, BIDA satellites also have a strong anti-interference ability, which can reach more than 1,000 times that of ordinary satellites. When it comes to quantum computers, you may not be very clear about this concept, but when it comes to supercomputers, you must be familiar with them. In this regard, China is already a world leader, and quantum computers are an upgraded version of supercomputers. This is reflected in its size and operation speed. Supercomputers are very large, while quantum computers are much smaller in comparison. For the speed of operation, such as solving a system of equations with billions of billions of variables, 10 to the 24th power, it takes a supercomputer 100 years to calculate the result, while a quantum computer only needs a few seconds. In 2019, Google in the United States launched the 53-qubit computer, meaning that it has solved a problem that no classical computer can solve within a reasonable time frame. It is the first time this has been achieved, marking a major milestone in the field of quantum computing. After the computer was born, the United States conducted an experiment on it. It took 200 seconds to sample a quantum circuit one million times. At that time, using the world's number one supercomputer, it took one million years to complete this operation. 
Is it an exaggeration? However, China's Zhujiang quantum computer surpasses the 53 qubit computer launched by Google. The Zhujiang of China's quantum computing prototype came out on December 4. Pan Jianwei's team cooperated with the Shanghai Microsystem Research Center of the Chinese Academy of Sciences to successfully build Zhujiang quantum computing prototypes with 76 photons. Zhujiang solved the mathematical algorithm Gaussian bow sampling in only 200 seconds. The world's fastest supercomputer today would take 600 million years to perform the same calculations. This breakthrough makes China the second country in the world to achieve quantum supremacy. The next one is China's artificial Sunday. You should be familiar with the word artificial sun, but I don't think you know its function, so let's change it to another name, that is, nuclear fusion reactor, and the artificial sun is a popular term for a nuclear fusion reactor. The reason why it is called the artificial sun is because its reaction principle is similar to that of the sun. It generates energy through controllable nuclear fusion, which has many advantages such as pollution-free and safety. In the past few years, China has made breakthroughs in artificial Sunday. This also means that China has independently mastered the design, construction, and operation technology of large-scale advanced tacomac devices, laying a solid foundation for the independent design and construction of China's nuclear fusion reactors. We all know that deep-sea submersibles have always been China's strength, and now, China's Striver Man submersible has once again made a breakthrough and successfully dived to a depth of 10,909 meters, which is just 2 meters less than the Trieste, which is a Swiss-designed, Italian-built deep-diving research bathyscaphe which reached a record depth of about 10,911 meters. What's more, China's Striver Man submersible, its safety and stability is much stronger than that of the Trieste, and it can also operate in deep sea and conduct deep sea scientific research, and the Trieste is indeed disposable, it is not only limited in space, but also unable to conduct deep sea scientific research. To put it bluntly, it is a product for breaking records. The above are just some examples I gave. In fact, there are many aspects of Chinese technology that have achieved world-leading achievements, such as high-speed rail and 5G. In fact, China's scientific and technological strength has made great progress. If American politicians still adhere to the old-fashioned approach of containment and suppression, they will inevitably achieve little results. As the great man said, just forget what they said. The unrelenting efforts of the Chinese people will surely achieve their goals steadily. Do you agree with this view? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.